day is so much better. That's like fight training, man. Because the month of November, all I've been doing is drinking. Really? Oh, man. I've been working out. Uh -huh. Still working out. <laughs> but we're doing a lot of drinking. And I'm like, this, I got to stop. So I woke up today, because today's December 1st. I'm like, I'm not drinking this month. I'll have a glass of wine at Christmas or something like that. Right. But this month, I'm back to the grind. Are you? Because, yeah, yeah. Because I enjoyed October. The suck, it, when it's over, it's life is better. Well, you know so you what? just got to get through the suck. That's right. And then life is better. But the thing that gets me is the level of I don't give a fuck and anxiety, the less, the, the lack of anxiety that comes after you work out every day is so worth the oh. workout. The You're only, so calm. So calm. The only thing that changes your fucking DNA is discipline. Yes. Discipline is the only thing that changes your DNA, man. It is the only thing. Only thing, man. You could be fucking so fucked up. And I realized that, man. I was like, man, the only thing that changed my DNA is discipline. It's the yeah. only thing. I've incorporated a new thing that I was telling you where I get up first thing in the morning, I get in the cold plunge. Because I was doing <laughs> the cold plunge after I did the sauna. And it's a little easier because the sauna sucks. Right. But, you know, when that 20 minutes is up or 25 minutes is up and then you get in that cold the cold sucks, but it doesn't suck as much as when you're cold, and then you get in the cold. So when I wake up in the morning, I don't dress warm. Right. I wear my fucking underwear, and I go outside, and it's 40 degrees this morning, <laughs> and I walk out, and I lift the lid on that Morosco cold plunge, and I see the fucking ice floating up in there, and every day I climb in. That's brutal. And I just get in there for three minutes in the morning, and then I work out. That's fucking brutal. Well, because I read this thing... Um, I'll send it to you, Jamie, but I read this thing where uh, they've been doing studies on what happens to people. Andrew Huberman and I actually discussed this, and Huberman's a very interesting guy. But um, it's about the benefits of cold plunge before you actually work out. Really? Yeah, because there's a benefit after you work out in terms of reduction of inflammation, but what they're saying is you shouldn't do it right after you lift weights. Got it. Got because it. Because then it, muscles. Yeah, it, it actually it decreases the hypertrophy. So right. it, it, you don't gain as much mass or gain as much strength. But there's some benefit to doing it before you work out. I think there's a, a link involved in that too. So anyway, this is a guy... Uh, who's talking about sp prostate specific antigen blood te te test came back uh, very high and everyone said that he had to get a biopsy and he said the story I've heard about old older men getting biopsies and prostatectomies sounded like nightmares to him so he decided to try to manage his PSA with ketosis and ice baths so it worked his PSA dropped from over seven to less than one and along the way, a funny thing happened to his testosterone. It went through the roof to 1140, which is crazy high. His, he said, my urologist didn't believe me. He thought I must be juicing. So he had my luteinizing hormones tested too. Sure enough, 8.9 is off the charts for a fat guy in his 50s. He said, then I did a research and I discovered a Japanese study from 1991 that showed the secret was exercising after your ice bath. It's the opposite of what everybody says to do, which is exactly how I got this far in the first place. He said, now I'm stuck with the T levels of an oversexed 19-year-old. I'm not complaining. Damn. But so this is the thing that um, people are realizing now. There's some extreme benefit to heavy-duty sorry, here's what it is. Extreme benefit to heavy-duty cold exposure. Right. And then you force your body to heat up and then you work out. There's so, so, you know, I'm trying that now, and I've only done it three days in a row. Well, how's it working? It's working. <laughs> it's hard. But, the, 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 but part of it is just the, the fact that you have to do it in the morning. Like, I'm not giving myself any mornings off. So I have, that's the, how I start my day now. Whereas that's before, brutal. I was working out, so the workout, I ease myself into the workout, get on the bike, warm up, jump right. a little rope, start the kettlebell routine, <laughs> do all the things you got to do. But now it's just right into the suck. So it's, it's harder. I tell you right now, man, the fucking cold, being in cold water, cold mm. ice water, it literally is the one thing that makes you question everything. When you're going through hard training and shit like that, yeah. like, you know, I've been through a lot of different training in the military. And that cold water, 
It definitely many dreams die while suffering. <laughs> That should be a t-shirt. Many dreams die while <laughs> suffering, my That's friend. That's so true. And I yeah. talk about it, man. Like this, this fucking guy's getting that water, and you see their fucking eyes roll back. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. Many dreams die while suffering, friend. Yeah. Fuck I was trying up. to talk to Jamie about it. Jamie. God, it's fucking cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do cold. It's just like there's a level of cold. I want to ease myself into it. I don't want to just start in the worst that might I be the best hell, way to do it, Jamie. Yeah, that's he's what I've got, been telling him. He's got to jump know, in that bitch. I, did. I, just, I just couldn't go like below my knees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, what's that, feet cold. Man, in there. <laughs> man, what, hey, man, once that pecker gets cold, boy, it's real. I know. I yeah, know. it's yeah. all real. Yeah. I go right up to the chin. I want that water right there. Oh, that's legit right there, man. <sighs> if it's real legit, you go under. Mm. Hicks and Gracie, he puts a snorkel on. Really? Yeah. Hicks and gets in that water for a couple minutes under the water with the snorkel on. He likes that shit, huh? Hickson, Hickson's an intense motherfucker. So, speaking of that, who's the best ever? Oh, the best ever in MMA? Ever in MMA. It's hard to say. There's a lot of candidates. You know, I've always said Mighty Mouse is one of my best bets because he was so goddamn good and he's still so goddamn good. now. But now he's fighting in 1FC. But he was a flyweight champion for a long time, and his he was the highest level of expression of mixed martial arts ability that I'd ever seen. But he's also fighting guys that are much lighter. They're 125 right. pounds. You know, everyone's very quick, but he was just so skillful. But then there's John Jones. John Jones really never lost. That's a nasty motherfucker. He's a nasty man. motherfucker. And, you know, really, John Jones fucked off. You want to talk about a guy who... <sighs> just did it by talent and will john jones beat alexander gustafson without training it's unbelievable. He basically didn't train there's a few guys like that there's a guy named ryan span who's out there right now who just fucked up dominic reyes and dominic reyes was the one guy who took john jones to the limit dominic reyes uh went on a series of losses after that fight but he had this fight with john jones and took john jones to the fucking limit and a lot of people thought he won that decision then he went on after that fight, got knocked out by Jan Blahovic, who became the light heavyweight champion, got knocked out by Yuri Prohaska, and then just got lit up by Ryan Spann. And Ryan Spann is this guy who's always been ultra, ultra talented, right. but just was always afraid of running out of gas, didn't train, didn't really put in camps, just had a lot of ability and a lot of technique. Right. And his last fight... He fought Dominic Reyes, and he put in a full training camp for the first time ever Man. and just fucked Dominic Reyes up. Just lit him up like a Christmas